Uh, Shalom. First and foremost, before we begin, we want to give all the praise and glory and honor to our higher power, which yes. is in heaven and his only begotten Son, our who the world we call Jesus Christ, Yahweh. That's the true name of the heavenly Father, who the world calls God, and the name of his only begotten Son, who the world only calls Jesus Christ. All right? Those are the true names of the Heavenly Father and the Son. That's the name that we're coming in. And also, we want to give a double honor to the elder apostles of the great millstone who rule well. And as always, peace and salutations to all the fellow laborers of the hopeful elect tabernacle of David, scattered towards the four corners of the earth. And, uh, you know, we're just going to go right into it. Today is uh, Sunday. It was October the 17th. You know, and it's, uh, you know, of course, it's always, you know, things going on pertaining to prophecy. Like, um, just uh, earlier, I saw a video, um, I think it was on Natural News, but uh, they actually showed um, these uh, U.S. Navy ships. I don't know what coast it was on, but there was, uh, they, they caught a, a so-called UFO, which we know them to be as the chariots of, of Israel, all right? They were shooting torpedoes at it, and all you saw was the explosions happen all around mm. the chariot but it wasn't touching the chariot. The chariot came out of the whole, the smoke and the, and, and the fire and everything, it came out of it whole, like as if nothing touched it. So, nothing, did, nothing really did and, touch and, it. And nothing didn't touch it. <laughs> nothing happened to it. So that shows you how one-sided the war in heaven is gonna be, yeah. okay? And Esau knows that that level of power is what's coming for him. Yeah. That's, that's the level of power that's coming to take him out of power. And that's what we're out here to usher in. We finna, uh, we're ushering in a new world. Not the world that the, the Illuminati, the international bankers is talking about. The hell with that new world order. That's, that's, that's not going to come uh, to fruition. All right? We, we have a, a, a new heaven and a new earth that's, that's coming. Okay? So we're here to give that warning and also to wake up these people that are on this sign, you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. All right, judgment as well as salvation is coming. So be prepared, man. Repent. Yeah. Turn back, man. Okay? Yeah, you got a question? Oh, yep. I got some on the video. You can say yep. Isaiah 31 and 3. Yeah. Now the Egyptians are men and not the most high. Yeah. And, yeah. They, and we know that, you know, the modern day Egyptian who happened to be in power is uh, Esau, the so called white man. You know, he's known to be, you know, uh, 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 the, the, the top ruling class family uh, nation on the planet because he rules by the sword he, ha he has the power of the sword which is uh the military you know his uh, his marine his, his marine uh, corps his uh u.s navy his uh air force, air force. he even has a space force now yeah. you know and, and and they're constantly uh seeing chariots every day out there yeah. they don't report on everything that they see you know and they're nervous you know because they still can't even figure things out about them. They, 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 they keep doing all this research and, and, and trying to figure things out, but they're left blank. Yeah. They, know? Know that they, they know that the technology of the Most High is, is light years ahead of this type of technology that Esau possesses. Yeah. You know, they're trying to uh, mimic it to a certain degree, but they, they, they only can get a con. Right. Yeah, man. Uh, Go ahead. Isaiah 31 and 3. Now the Egyptians are men and not the Most High and their horses flesh and not spirit. Mm. Hey, hey, but guess what? <laughs> guess what control those, uh, those ships out there? Spirits. Celestial beings, man. Let them do, let them do you know? this shit, bro. And man don't have power over celestial spirits. Yeah. They, but guess what? They got power over you. Dang. They can control your mind. They can control your thoughts. They have the technology to stop Esau shooting nuclear missiles yeah and they can control your your uh your grid from 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 where they're at that's how powerful the 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 the, 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 the technology of the most high is man okay that's why you devils man you, <laughs> it's gonna be real it's gonna be a walk in the park for the angels man okay you know and that's the and guess what that's the power that's that's gonna protect yeah. the elect of these people man Right. So hey, you can come. You can come for it, man. Do what you gonna do. Right. Send out your robot dogs. Mm -hmm. Send out your cyborg soldiers. Send out your drones. But guess what we got in the heavens, man? You shooting tor 
torpedoes and, 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 and launching missiles at them, and you ain't even touching them, man. Go ahead, Doc. When the Lord shall stretch out his hand, both he that helpeth shall fall, and he that hopeth shall fall down, and they shall all fail together. Right. You all go you all gonna fail, man. I mean it already tells you even in uh, Revelation 17 that the Lamb is gonna prevail over uh the beast. Okay. Matter of fact, somebody find that for me. I believe it's uh Revelation 17 and like uh 14 or 15. Okay. Revelation 17 and 14. These shall make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb shall overcome them. So it's already written. If it's already written, that means guess what? You're subject to it. It's going to happen. The way it was written, man. All right? So that war in heaven is going to end in the ultimate victory. Yahweh shine the angels, those celestial beings, those ships that you see, he's going to come back with, with, with thousands of, upon thousands of them. And it's going to just be a straight walkthrough, man. All right? Read that again. Revelation 17 and 14. These shall make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb shall overcome them. For he is the Lord of lords and King of kings. And, and they that are with him are called and chosen and faithful. Yep. Hey, those that are with him, man, that's talking about the elect. That's it. You know? Kind. Because like the brother said, it, it was written, so it's going to happen. And we know that we're telling our people that you just got to have faith that it's going to happen because it's just because it says it in the book. OK, we can say it's just a book who wrote that book and all that. But we know through the spirit that these words that the Heavenly Father has spoken by his prophets are going to happen. It's kind because our faith is our faith is built up. We, when we see it happening, we see things happening that's written, that are written in this book. He said it's like in second Andrew 9, he said, uh, write these things down for yet they are faithful and true. Yeah. I mean, we, we know that these things are going to come to pass, but only those that have been given the gift of faith are able to see it. Yeah, bro. Yeah, because the Lord is shooting 100% from the field. Yeah. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing been false. No, Was that Isaiah 34 that said that? Um, Sick you out of the book of the Lord and read. Yeah. No, no one of these no shall fail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. 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 I had a prequel. Yeah, it, hey, to, to show you how serious the most I take his word, he said that even he has, he, Six. if somebody could find it, I believe it's uh, Isaiah. Uh, uh, Psalms, I think it's 138. Yeah, kind, kind. Psalms 138, I think it's like around the first or second verse. That he even puts his, he his puts word. his reputation. He, 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 yeah, get it. This Psalms 138, in verse two. Yep, yep, yep. I will worship towards the holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. For thou hast magnified thy word above the, all thy name. Yeah, there it is. You know, so he 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 puts his 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 reputation out there for his word's sake. That's you know? why his name is what it is because of his reputation. Mm -hmm. Because when he says it, it is. Yeah, it's, it's and, good. And he is that makes it. Just you know, just just like hey, this is how you know. That he, he, he is, that he exists. Because everything around us exists because of him. Mm -hmm. Somebody give me second measures uh 16 real quick. I want to make this. Because he 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 spoke, he spoke words, and all this basically came to exist. He spoke everything we see around us, including ourselves, into existence. Yeah. Just by him speaking. You know? So how much more the Lord can make things happen off of command? Off of thought. Off of thought. Yeah. And he's not going to go back on his word. Exactly. That's what you, the Most High, once he said it 2,000 years ago um, through the prophets, he's not going to go back. He's not going to change his mind. He said it 3,000, 4,000 yeah, 3, 4, years 4, 000, ago. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Most High is a man that cannot lie, right? Yep. Come on. Uh, uh, second measure 16, I believe it's like around the uh, 60. Uh, Amen. Second Esther chapter 16 and verse 54. Behold, the Lord knoweth all the works of men, yep. their imaginations, their thoughts, and their hearts. So, because Esau likes to keep everything hidden. Yeah. He likes to do everything in secret. In the dark. As if the Most High ain't sitting in the heavens and not 
like it, like as if the Most High didn't put it in this devil to do the things that he's doing. Okay. The Lord knows you like the back of his hand because he, he made you. And he prophesied from the beginning what you would be doing he put in his last day. So of course the Lord knows all your thoughts. Just like you know, I mean, how much more the Most High when this devil got the technology to, 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 to pinpoint uh, 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 where you've been. Right. You got G GPS devices so he can know where you are. Yeah. Uh, 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 tracking the uh, uh, um, IPS, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, IP addresses. IP addresses, you know. Uh, uh, he, 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 has the, he has the cloud that stores all his information. So everything you do online is forever right there. So if he has, if Esau can keep tabs of information on everybody all over the world, how much the Heavenly Father, man? Mm. So you the devils, came from. right? So you devils ain't getting away with anything. Ten thousand times brighter, brighter than, than the sun. sun. <laughs> yeah, hey, cause he, you trying to mimic the heavenly father by trying to, yeah. you know, be all knowing and all seeing, all seeing. Uh, omnipotent, all, and om omnipotent, and omniscient. You know, go ahead, bro. I got it. Verse fifty-five, which spake by the but the word, let the earth be made. And it was made. All he did was just speak the word. Let it let the, let the earth be made. You know, he just said it, right? And then what happened? The angels. All right. You know, all they had to all they had to do was hear the instruction, yeah. and they and they put it all together. Yeah. You know, so it's the same way even to this day. The fact that the Lord spoke that there was going to be a world war. That was gonna end it, all this. Well, who you who you think is uh, 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 putting spirits who's controlling the mind of these uh, uh, rulers? You know, to cause these conflicts in in these different parts of the world. Who who put the spirit on the Chinese to start launching these uh, war missiles? Kind. You know, who who put the spirit in the Russians to start uh, test firing these uh, hypersonic uh, missiles? Yeah, yeah. Sending submarines uh, over here. The scriptures literally say he put it in their mind. I will put hooks in their jaws. Exactly. To, to make that in Matthew Ezekiel 38. He said that he would, um, uh, uh, he got the angels that's that's uh, 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 binding up um, over there in the, by the river Euphrates. Exactly. Uh, holding back the winds, you know? Yeah. He's preparing the way of the kings of the east. Yeah. That's all according to prophecy. The Lord spoke these things. Okay. That's why there's so much energy. There's so much heat. There's so much activity in that in that area of, of the planet. Okay. Yeah. You know? Go ahead, bro. Yeah, quick read. Go ahead. Okay. And then we go right back. Proverbs 21 and 1. The king's heart is yep. in the hand of the Lord. Yep. As the rivers of the water. He turneth it whatsoever. Turneth it whithersoever he will yeah. exactly the lord he works on the minds of of, of, of kings the, 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 the you know? illuminati uh, the, the reptiles all of those the new bacon families he's putting the, the spirit in them joe joe uh, uh sneaky creepy joe whatever putting the spirit on this guy to do certain things yeah right like but that, but he's doing that with everybody on the planet <laughs> to, to fulfill his uh yeah his will the lord got him looking like a joke right now yeah, yeah. you can see he's just totally just losing it okay. Well, hey, the Lord did that to uh, uh, Nebuchadnezzar. Yeah. yeah. You see that? Okay. The Lord can make things go wrong. You know, right when when that whoever's in power gets too too proud, the Lord will make things go go totally off, man. Yeah. You know, Just especially if you don't give the credit and the glory to, to the Most High. Yeah. But Esau, he's he's saying that he's the Most High. Yeah. So the Lord is basically setting this devil up, man. You know. But uh, we you I can go. Three. Yeah, he's still oh, yeah. Go ahead. Um, let the earth be made, and it was made. Let the heaven be made, and it was created. Uh -huh. In his work, where the stars made, and he knoweth the number of them. Man, a, and, and he knows the number of the, <laughs> of the stars. That's insane. Come on, man. <laughs> he saw trying to figure that out. You know? Yeah. I mean, and, and that's another thing. That's why Esau keep trying to go out of space. I think NASA, they putting in another trip to go up there. You ain't finna get too far. The Lord's still stretching out the heavens like a curtain, like a vault. It's constantly expanding, so you know, it don't matter what you do. Think about it. How were the 